It's not fun when you're broke, but I have to admit, there are certain joys in life that you can only experience while being dead broke. And I know that's a hard sell, but a little story to illustrate my point. Um, a few years back, I had hit a rough patch, which I am currently in. Uh, uh, but at the time, I was down to two bucks cash. I want you to know I had cash. I didn't have two dollars diversified in bonds or anything. <laughs> two bucks, cold hard cash. And I was like, well, in my mind, zero is more manageable than two. You know, I don't want to keep up with all this money I got. So fuck it, let's go on a spending spree. Let's get rid of those two bucks, you know. And I went to the only place where I knew to spend two dollars, uh, McDonald's. I went through the drive-thru, I ordered a dollar fry and a McDouble, and that's not the best meal, but sufficient for eating your feelings, right? <laughs> so I order that meal, I go to the first window, pay my two bucks, I go to the second window where they give you the food, and the first thing the lady handed me was a large Sprite. And I remember thinking to myself, like, okay, clearly they have messed up in your favor. Play cool. <laughs> Act like you've been there, you know? So I'm trying to play it cool. Then they hand me the bag with the food in it. I look in there, large fry, premium burger. I don't even know, like the burger was in a box. That is a whole other tax bracket uh, that I am not accustomed to. <laughs> and I'm sitting there with all this food and I realized, oh shit, this is a double drive through lane McDonald's. There's two drive through lanes. I'm getting the order of the guy behind me. And honestly, there could have been more to that order. I didn't take my chances. I fucking took off. Because, uh, you know, I'm poor, not stupid, right? <laughs> and, uh, oh, man, on the way home, I can't even tell you how excited I was. Just the mystery of it, you know? Ooh, what's in that box? I had to know what was in the box. So I took a look at the receipt, see what's in the box. It says... Double quarter pounder with cheese, plain, add onion, add pickle, add Big Mac sauce, which I didn't know that was legal. Uh, Big Mac sauce? I didn't know our country was that free, you know? That's just the mere concept of this burger fucking blew my mind. Because I would never think to order that. Not a lot of people would. Like... If you wanted that meal, you'd have to go to McDonald's and be like, yes, I would like a double quarter pounder with cheese meal. And they would say, do you want everything on that double quarter pounder with cheese? And then you would have to say, okay, here's what I need you to do. <laughs> First of all, forget everything you know about the double quarter pounder with cheese. Strike that shit down to plank, all right? Now, starting with this blank canvas of beef and cheese, let's throw some onion pickle on there. Now, listen carefully. This is where I'd like you to attempt the unthinkable by adding a special sauce from an entirely different burger. Who has the balls to do that? You'd have to be brilliant enough to think of it. Then you have to be enough of a dickhead to actually order all that shit. That's pretty rare. Um, I tell you what, though, I took that burger home, and uh, it's the best burger I've ever had. And so far, that's been the greatest day of my life. Um, that's good. You've been there. It's good. <laughs> I tell you, though, what, I had to be really broke to appreciate that. To get that much joy out of a drive through mix-up. You gotta be in a real shitty spot beforehand. And I'll tell you, what makes me happier than anything, thinking back on it, is when I think about that poor sap in line behind me who ordered what I got and who got what I ordered. Uh, it's like, I know it's McDonald's, but still, I feel like I somehow swiped a rich man's burger, you know? Like I stuck it in the 1% or something. It's like an $8 burger alone. Are you fucking royalty? What are you doing? Ordering that all around town. That's crazy. Also, anyone with that particular of an order clearly has a very refined McDonald's palate. They're not going to be happy with my sh paper envelope of fries and a fucking McDouble. Oh, there is no box for the McDouble. They just wrap it up in dirty napkins and throw it in your car. Go, get out of here, you broke piece of shit. Make way for the paying customers. It's 
I still smile today just thinking about this guy, whoever he is, this dignitary or whatever. <laughs> I just imagine him getting my meal and be like, um, what is this peasant's meal? This is the worst day of my life. Makes me happy when someone else is sad. So, it's good.